Run change detection operation on a server. Consider an environment in an enterprise with multiple servers, virtual machines, operating systems, and database servers. Multiple users, such as a network administrator can manage and modify network parameters. A database administrator can manage and modify database data. A system user can manage and modify configuration settings. Now. How do I detect the changes to my environment? CCA change detection can help you. To run change detection operation on a server, use the following process. Step 1. Run discovery on servers. To automate the discovery operations on the server, you need to create a management profile and select the required blueprints to discover the components on a server. Step 2. Create a snapshot. When you create a snapshot using the Take Snapshot option, the application creates a point-in-time copy of the server data. Step 3. Compare Source and Target Snapshot. To identify the changes to the server data, you must compare the source snapshot, current data on the server, with the target snapshot, point-in-time copy of the server data, when the change detection operation is run on the server. Step 4. Specify the required blueprint and filters. During the change detection operation, you can select the blueprints and use the filters to run the change detection operation on specific components on the server. As a result, the number of changes made to the server data are detected. In this video you will learn how to run a change detection operation on a server and view results. Launch the CA Configuration Automation CCA. Application and enter CCA admin as the username and password. Note that these are default credentials only. Click Management. Click Servers. Before you run Discovery, you need to create a management profile and add the required blueprint in the profile. Let's begin by creating a management profile. Select Table Actions. Select Create Management Profile. Type Profile 1. Select Blueprints. Assume that the CCA agent is installed on a server and you want to identify changes made to the agent on the server. You need to first discover the CCA agent on the server. Hence, double click the Blueprint, CCA Agent, Windows to discover the CCA agent on the server. Click Finish. The management profile is created. To discover the server data, you must assign the created management profile to the server. Hence, select Servers. Since you need to detect changes on the server, john.do.ca.com, select the required server. Let's assign the created profile, Profile 1, to the server. Select the Select Actions menu. Select Server Actions. Select Assign Profiles. Select Profile 1 from the Change drop-down list and click OK. Click OK. The selected profile is assigned to the server. Now let's use the Run Discovery option to obtain the latest data on the server. Select the Select Actions menu. Select Management Actions. Select Run Discovery. Click Refresh. The discovery is run on the selected server and the latest changes on the components are discovered. You can view the count of discovered components in the Components column. Let's take a snapshot of the discovered data on the server. Select the Select Actions menu. Select Management Actions. Select Take Snapshot. Enter Snapagent 1. Click OK. The snapshot is created. Click Refresh. The snapshot captures the current data on the server. Select the server for which you want to run change detection. Select the Select Actions menu. Select Management Actions. Select Run Change Detection.
Let's compare the current data and the created snapshot. Click Selected Snapshot. Select Snopagent 1. Click Finish. The change detection operation is run and the current data is compared with the snapshot data. The change detection operation did not detect any changes because there are no changes made to the server data. Assume that you edited the agent conf file and made changes to the verbose setting in the file. To identify the changes made to the server data, let's run the change detection operation again on the server. Select the server and select the Select Actions menu. Select Management Actions. Select Run Discovery. Click Refresh and view the Refresh Time column. The components are rediscovered at this time. Enter Snopagen 2 and click OK. The snapshot is created and captures the current data on the server. Select the Select Actions menu. Select Management Actions. Select Run Change Detection. Now let's compare Snapshot 2 with Snapshot 1. Select Snopagen 2 as the source snapshot. Select Snopagen 1 as the target snapshot. Click Next. You can select the required blueprints to run change detection for the specific components on a server. You can refine the change detection operation using the filters. Click Finish. The change detection operation is run and the results are displayed. Because you have made changes to the agent conf file on the server, change detection operation has detected a couple of changes. Let's view the changes detected. Select the Tree tab. Expand the CCA agent file. The changes detected are highlighted. Select the agent conf file to view the changes. To view the modified settings, expand configuration. Similarly, Using the Run Compare operation, you can compare server data across servers as follows. Step 1. Run discovery on servers using a management profile. Step 2. Create a snapshot using the Take Snapshot option. Step 3. Select Management Actions. Run Compare while comparing source and target snapshots to identify changes between server data. You have learned how to run a change detection operation on a server and view results. For more information, visit the DocOps platform for CA configuration automation at wiki.ca.com.